Hi guys! I have headphones on! Is it negative working? Yay. Okay, I'm going to tell you a little story. Um, I'm going to shut off the TV because a view is on and I don't want to watch it. Okay, whoops. Stupid headphones. Alright, I'm going to tell you a little story about my bullyhood. You see, um, I was bullied, uh, like almost a year back, no, not a year back, a couple months back, back, and, uh, it started when my mom, there's these kid, two kids that hate me, Alfredo and Mason. Mason has a scar and he's white, and he always calls me a racist cracker. Well, I'm pale, duh. But, yeah, I was born three months prematurely, so you gotta know. Anyways, um, Alfredo was racist too, and plus, um, they're racist because one time I had, uh, white chocolate in our, uh, math teacher bought it in, and we ate some of it, and I said, this is really good white chocolate. Yes, I could have said vanilla, but it didn't really taste like vanilla. It's like, you know that, uh, Tootsie Rolls thing that tastes like, it tasted like a Tootsie Roll, but I said white chocolate? And, uh, they got, they, I guess they got offended, and they called me a racist cracker and blah. Anyways, um, after that, they hated me really bad. Um. One day they were out, um, they lived behind us, sort of, Alfredo, and, um, my mom's good, best friend with Alfredo's mom, and, uh, let's see, um, they were driving a four-wheeler, both of them, on a four-wheeler that was two times bigger than them, on a four-foot by four-foot lawn. When you do that, the mass is, like, six feet? Not even six feet, I think. I forgot. But, um, anyways, they were driving it, and they were so loud, and they kept blowing the dust onto us, because, you know, we live next door. Well, I mean, they live next behind us on, uh, Jackson Ave. If you guys want to, uh, I'm just kidding. Never mind. But, um, uh, they were doing that, and my mom yelled at them, and then my mom called the police because they wouldn't stop. And they called, and they said, oh, you're going to antagonize the scene. There's already a scene, douchebags! I'm sorry to say, but whoever's father is a police officer, he's nice and everything, doesn't mean that there's a douche or anything, but I'm just saying. Okay, I lost my chair, so I'm sorry. Um, so, we did that. Called the police. Um, didn't do shit. After that, my mom yelled at them again, and then, uh, Carmen had to speak, I mean, my landlord, Carmen, had he had to speak, uh, uh, Spanish to Alfredo, and then to the parents and everything, and she got that solved, but then they were still driving their four-wheeler up and down the street, and it was really annoying. But then the next day in school, um, we're in, uh, on the bus, Alfredo, he go, he's in my bus on the morning, and I'm there, and everyone's, like, talking about it, oh, my God, look at Mary Beth, she's just blah, blah, blah. Oh, my God, I mean, really. My mom is not a slut. They're saying, oh, Mary Beth's mom is a slut. I can fucking hear you. You're right next to me in the seat. Dude, you're retarded! I yell at him like, okay, you know what? Shut up. Don't talk to my mom like that. If you don't like it, then just don't do it. And he tells me, oh, then, oh, your mom's just a slut. You're just a mistake. Blah, 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 blah. That's about the right smack. But my best friend um, was next to me, and she said, no, don't do it. It's not worth it. I'm like, okay. They got the videotape that was on the bus, though. But, um, so, I ignore him. It took me forever. We get to school. Um, I'm with um, my best friend gang, and <laughs> with my best friend gang, they were wearing gothic clothes and everything like I am. I'm goth, so. Anyways, they're doing that, and, uh, we get into the school. Mason trips me on my face. And, uh, I actually have a scar right here. You can't really see it, though. I think it's right here, here. I forgot. But, uh, trip me on my face. Um, I actually ran into the brick wall because someone pushed me into it. My face hurt from them. I actually lost a tooth from that. And the person that did it was um, Mason's brother. It was Mason's brother who did it on purpose. And uh, they were messing around the hallway. Um, anyways, when I get to school, when that happened, I went to class. I went to the nurse's office, went to class, math class. Okay, we had all of the classes, but then math came. Mason was in it, and uh, I guess I was nearby him. I overheard him saying, Oh, Mary Beth's mom is such a slut. She sucks. I turn around, I'm like, oh, don't talk to my mom right now because I'm in a bad mood. And she's like, what are you going to do about it? I'm like, turn back around. I'm like, okay. Just go out of the classroom and go, you know, about to get up. All of a sudden, he, 
I heard overheard him saying, "Oh, she's just a slut, blah blah. She she's such a bitch because we didn't get to ride in the four wheeler." I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, "It was a four foot by four foot freaking lawn, you douche, and it wasn't even your lawn." And I go, I I was so angry. I was getting angrier and angrier because he kept saying, "My mom was a slut house. That she was the stripper house. She was having so much sex with every every man she saw." I go in his face, and I'm like, "Mason, shut the fuck up." Well, first, I actually threw my desk up and then slammed it down. And then I went into his face and I said, Mason, shut the fuck up. I was up talking crap about my mom. And then I, stomp, I freaking stomped my feet out the door. And, and one of the, and Jason Ortega said, oh, oh, you go, girl. And everyone's laughing. And I'm like, oh, my God. And I, I was crying so bad in the hallway. Um, one of the um, staff, I heard one of the staff aides uh, yell at the, at the students saying, shut up. I mean, well, I shut up, be quiet. And, uh, so that happened. And, uh, they went to the office. Um, one of the, the secretary or people put me in one of the rooms with, uh, the, uh, um, guidance counselor and, uh, told me what the heck happened. And, I mean, asked me what the heck happened. And I said, no, oh, Mason was bullying me and stopped taunting me. And he's like, oh, we're going to, and she calls uh, the classroom down, one of the people down, and uh, I overheard my math teacher uh, crying over the phone because how brave I was. I didn't whack him in the head. And, uh, I was actually on the newspaper at school. <laughs> I, was, I was on, um, well, not like the newspaper, but the, we have the school thing. That was pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, I was crying pretty bad, and I cut myself. After that, you can't, you see a little line right there? That's, I was trying to cut my knee right there, and then I have some on my knuckles. You can't see really. You can kind of see it right there. You see a little dot right there, a black dot right there, and then you look over here. You see that dot. Those are my scars, and then, uh, I don't know if I have any on my face. Like I think right here or right here. I forgot where. And then um, I have one in my eye because I cut my eye a little bit, and they actually healed that up. They had to flush out my eye. It hurt really bad. But, um. Yeah, I actually cut my eye. You can kind of see it, like, barely, because the freaking negative's on. Yes, I will freaking get that handled. But, um, yeah, in that case, so, now you got my story of how bad I was bullied, and, uh, I'm still getting bullied. Oh, yeah, and I had, se I had seven fainting cells this year. Seven. Had to go to the hospital twice, um, because I was almost in a coma. Um, well, no, not because the first time I almost went into a coma, the second time was a uh, low blood sugar level, and I passed out for like a whole day. And, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe.